Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to freeways, freeways, da -da 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 -da. yep we are in freeways looking at the first road I ever designed in this game, it's so efficient, it's so beautiful, it's what it means to truly be a highway engineer, anyway let's get back to the map, these are all the levels we have completed so far, and you can see at the bottom I think we've only got like 8 levels left, but we are into the bottom corner so let's see what we've got, oh we've got a happy face, we've got a happy face to start, and I think they're wearing 3D glasses, Glasses. All right, so if you haven't seen this before, basically you just, you can hold down click on these signs and it shows you where people want to go to. The size of the arrow is how much traffic wants to go there. So basically everyone wants to go everywhere equally. You know what that means? That means it's time for a roundabout. Whoa, that was crazy, but we have made his face. He has edges to his cheeks and chin and head and stuff. Right, now we just gotta connect things up. But first, this video is sponsored by Manscaped and their performance package bundle. All right, so let's open this up. So first off, this this is a lovely box. Look at this. So this is an all-in-one grooming kit. And yes, it's true. Your balls will thank you. <laughs> Love it, right. This is the Lawnmower 4.0. It's a waterproof cordless trimmer. It has these replaceable ceramic blades with skin safe technology and a built in LED so you can see exactly what you're doing. It comes with this charging dock, which is USB type C. So useful, thank you. And a load of different cutting height attachments in case you want to do some topery. We've also got these two things. This one's ball deodorant. <laughs> which is anti-chafing. This one is a refreshing ball toner. But wait, there's more. Within this very fancy packaging are the brand new Manscaped Boxers 2.0. The perfect blend of fashion and function. These are the perfect addition to a much needed upgrade. There's six different color combinations and they're designed using premium super soft fabrics that are anti-chafing, cooling and tagless, making them super comfortable. Let's go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off plus free shipping when you use my promo code RealCivilEngineer at checkout. That's 20 percent off plus free shipping with my promo code real civil engineer at manscape.com thanks for sponsoring but let's get back to the game we want to we want to avoid like crossing over traffic so one of these is going to have to be a bridge so it might be easier if i perhaps take this one down under there and this one we're going to go up into a bridge so the light grey means it's a bridge, and then once we're over, we can go back down and connect in there. So that means the traffic, they won't like crash into each other. People trying to get out of there won't collide with people trying to get into here. I don't know what that is. It's like, maybe it's a shield shop. They make octagon, 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 octagonal. They make octagonal shields out of planks of wood. Yeah, and they're bitter rivals. You can either go with the green guys or the purple guys. Anyway, this time I'm going to draw the bridge first, because then I'm going to try and just go under it. And now you see green cars are leaving the purple. They've literally, they bought their purple shield and they're like, screw this. I'm going to, I'm going to go check out the green guys. Purple shields are a rip off. Now the only downside, you can see the the purple ones coming out the green they have to go all the way around so that's going to take quite a long time that could affect our efficiency score later on uh, however let's just connect these roads up so these are pretty simple so we just do that and we do that and that's because we went anti-clockwise with our roundabout so that is network complete that's like the simple way to do it we might have to do like a shortcut through the middle maybe you don't know let's press the stopwatch this simulates loads and loads of traffic you can see oh dear it is clogged it got a bit clogged 223 that's actually quite terrible if i'm honest so are there any ways to fix this you can see like there's a lot of blue traffic getting clogged down the bottom i'm thinking maybe i could take like out the purple shop just go like along straight into there should i try that come along there and we connect in like that now i might just try that for now so 223 to beat let's see what that one extra arm did it's not clogging up hardly at all now 353 <laughs> Wow, that was that was a brilliant fix. Fair play, Matt. Pat on the back. I think we'll go to the next level now. And what I like about this is like all the levels like join together. So you can see we've just done the face. We've got like a road coming out the right. That means this one is going to have a road coming in on the left hand side. As well as we've got to connect to these two arms that we've already done on these levels. So what do we have here? We have, I think we have a moot. There could be a castle in the middle there. So we've got eight west. You can see they, they only want to go to the cranes up the top a little bit. Mainly everywhere else. Over this side the same. The bottom, they want to go just to those three, not to the cranes just want to go to the main roads okay so basically we do a straight through and a junction up to the cranes i don't know let's start we'll take you as straight as we can so we've done 
the bridge just over the river. We've gone down onto the flat ground there because we don't want any more bridge than we need because they do cost more. They use up more concrete, which affects your efficiency score at the end. So then we'll just go back. Not the straightest lines I've ever drawn, but I think that's okay. So next up, I'm going to do like a roundabout sort of thing. The only thing is there's no, there's not really a gap up the top. I don't think you can drive over the buildings like with bridges. Same with this stop sign down here. So what I might do, I might start like there. Oh, is that the right way to go? No, that was a little bit silly. I wanted to go, oh, I wanted to go anti-clockwise because if you look at this road at the bottom, you've got the in on the right and the out on the left and the same with the top right if you were to spin the screen. So I'm going to start from down here then. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go straight over this with a bridge. There we go. Then we're going to come around the bottom, go straight across there. And then in order to get past this sign, I think we're going to have to go that way and bridge like over there. And then we're back down here. We'll bridge across this and finally round this corner. And then we've got to go past the cranes. So we'll come around like that, straight down. There's a bit of a wobble there, probably. But we should be able to connect things up fairly easy now. So I'm just going to come round like that. This one's going to come around like that. That's a bit of a sharp corner. And come off there to connect onto that. Come off there to connect onto that. And after a bit of that, we're all connected. Network complete. Let's see how this works. I'm not convinced. It's a bit slow. It is a bit slow. I think mainly because of how I drew that corner. 307. I feel like I probably could have got a better score because if you look at this corner, I like, watch this green car. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> you could hear the tires squealing there. And like this corner here, this this orange is like really struggling to get out. Because, oh, back end, you nearly lost it into the water there. But uh, three, so I think we'll take that for now. If we need to, if we need a higher score later on, we can always come back. All right, so now we've got the level here. So that connects to the right side of this one, which is a really simple interchange. I quite like that one. And it's also beneath this one, one of the more complicated ones I've ever drawn. I don't even know what's going on there. But it works, so I can't complain. So let's see what we're connecting to to oh my goodness that looks like it's going to be a mess all right so on this one 20 north where do you want to go oh my goodness they really want to go over there that is a chody arrow oh and they want to go over to blue where does blue want to go oh my goodness oh they all want to go somewhere else wow Right, okay then, I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do the straight line, because I don't really want to go anywhere else, particularly. So I think this one's probably gonna be, like, straight through roads everywhere. So let's do this arm first. They want to go to 8 east. Right, that is one sorted. So yeah, this one will go over here. Very small bridge over. And then we can take traffic off there onto there. So this 20 north, it's all done. They're not flashing anymore. The Monopoly houses, also all done. The Monopoly hotels want to go to the purple mainly, but a little bit to blue as well. So we'll do the purple one. So we're trying to get our bridges nice and perpendicular so they're the shortest possible length. Now I'm sort of regressing that because this is going back. So I could have put it like next to it and done a slightly longer bridge. But what I might do first, I might take this 20 south. That wants to go to the, the hotels over there. And then can we wrap it in? Just about. It's a little bit squiggly, but it's sorted. So they want to go up to blue. So I think we'll just stay close. And that's it. This one. <laughs> This level is going to be a nightmare. It's already like spinning me out. It's pretty complicated. All right, you want to go to green. Maybe the best bet for you is to go up the top. So yeah, I'm going to take this one first. So this is the double bridge over those two. And then down and then pretty much up again over there then over those oh this is a lot of bridge this one and that's done they also want to go to dark blue so we can just cut that corner no issues there just putting that arm in so the purples can get to the hotels all right then eight west they want to get to the green and the purple so i'm going to go down the bottom controversial no the damn menu's in the way no oh please let me get past oh please no Oh, why'd you do this game? All right, I might have done it without making a junction. <laughs> All right, then over here, I'm going to do double bridge there, then the corner, then double bridge over that one. All right, then that is it. I don't know why I did that bit so squiggly. Got a bit excited. Then cut this corner to do that. And then it's just getting these yellows to the green, which I think if I if I can just about click like that, that's all done. And then these guys want to get to blue. How are they? Rig, do I get them over there? So they're coming off the... Oh, I can just... I can just do... No, that was the wrong road. Poo. I meant to go on to that road. Okay, network complete. That's... <laughs> oh, man. This, this interchange is literally like how my brain fills after that. 
scrambled. Right, let's press the stopwatch and simulate this. How is it going to do? It's actually, it's looking all right. I have used a lot of concrete. <gasps> what the actual hell? 854? What? Okay, if you've been following this series, you'll know. I think that's my best ever score by like a long ass way. 854. Hang on, let me let me have a look. Let's go back to the map. Have we beaten 854 anywhere? No, the closest we've got was this one, 806, which a uh, fairly simple level, that one. But aside from that level, we've only had above 600 once. So that's why I'm like, I am blown away. Turns out I know my stuff. Who would have thought a decade of designing highways would actually come in handy in real world situations? All right, next up, we're on the next level. And oh my goodness, we've got the flying saucer shop. Oh, 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 and they want to go everywhere. They just want to invade every road they can. And everyone else, they sort of want to go everywhere fairly equally. But I feel like there's going to be a lot of traffic. I mean, I could try a roundabout. I feel like this might be like a double roundabout one. Well, it's not even going to be round. It's going to be like rectangle about. Um, let's pick the orientation. I think we want to go anti-clockwise just because the, the lefts and rights, how they all work out. So I guess I'll go somewhat in the middle. And then we want to connect onto these, ideally with sort of parallel arms because i'm going to be doing another roundabout around the outside probably so we want our bridges to be fairly short if we can get them like that All right so that is the roundabout in place aside from the ufo shot so i guess i probably just want to come down like that and come down like that so that is the network complete it's already clogging up though so if we simulate that yeah as expected it's jammed so can the double roundabout fix this. All right, so if we start from the middle, we're going to have to go clockwise. I'm actually, I'm sort of regretting what way round I've started this now. So I've just realized all my connections are going to be pretty, well, bad, basically. Yeah, because basically I want to connect all these arms to this outer roundabout, but it's going the wrong way. So let's just see what happens. So if we come around there, up to that, and around that, I feel like I'm, turn <laughs> I'm turning every junction into the strongest junction. <laughs> Just with the tips cut off at the end of the screen. So maybe this will be efficient after all. Right, so the two different roundabouts, they're connected to all the outside runs. I've just got to get this outer roundabout connected to the UFO shop. So the way I'm going to do that, I'm just going to come off there. Do a little bridge over the top, and then connect into that. And then coming out the bottom, we'll go over this way. Bridge over the road. Yeah, that's not the neatest thing I've ever done, but let's press the stopwatch and see. Oh, it's not great. The middle roundabout is clogged. Oh, one, four, two. Okay, okay. I think what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to do these the opposite way around. And trust me, this is going to be so much more efficient. All right, I will see you in a minute. All right, so that's a network complete like that. Obviously, that's, that's going to get jammed. But if we do our outer roundabout going the opposite direction and this makes the connections a lot easier no efficient shapes but we can literally just cut like the corners like over there and we can just work our way around doing this and then to connect to the ufo shop it's just same as before another bridge and like that and hopefully we should be all right now so if we simulate that oh look at the traffic it's constantly moving 510 <laughs> that was such an improvement i will definitely take that right one thing i was thinking since my early few levels i've learned a lot about how this game works like for example i thought this was a good solution to I thought this was a good solution to this level. Yes, it looks like a brain, but I'm not convinced how much brain power was actually used to create this junction. Uh, so what I might do, that's 248. I think I might destroy my brain. So it is cleared. And we're going to do this one again. We're going to see how high can we get using all the knowledge we have learned so far. Now, honestly, looking at this, I'm sort of thinking, why didn't I just do a roundabout? Because as we click on each location, you can see where the traffic wants to go. There's always a thick line that wants to go to the one adjacent to it. So if I just do a roundabout in that direction, I'm pretty sure that would be way better. So I'll start there-ish. We're going to go as close to all of these as possible. So we've got that. Not really a roundabout, more of a blob about. But if we then connect these up pretty easily like this, then we are very good. The only the only little bit of trouble we got is this top one because the in and the out are on like the opposite sides. So there will be a bit of clashing or we could do a bridge over. Perhaps if we come up here. Apparently there's a bridge there. Oh, I don't have any bridges. Wait, what? I thought this was the brain. Why are there no bridges? Why are there suddenly no bridges? I don't I don't understand what's going on. I swear there was how did I have so many bridges on my brain? <laughs> 
That's a weird sentence. All right, well, anyway, I have restarted because I need to I need to think about how we're going to do this. I mean, I'm sort of thinking if I can get the traffic off and then the traffic just backs up up here, it won't affect the rest of the roundabout. So what I mean by that is if we cross over like, like that and then our roundabout is down here somewhere. So a bit more like this. So if we just connect all these up, we will stimulate this and see if it's any better. Yeah, it doesn't seem as clogged, although the greens are oh, 586. I'm pretty sure that's like more than double what my original score was. The brain. Anyway, I still think I can push it further. Like, look at the green cars coming out of here. They're getting... They are blocking up everything. Let's let's try one more time. So I think what I want to do, I want to keep that as I have before. But for the other one, I think I want... I think I want like a long arm there. So the traffic backs up, but it doesn't clog up the gun shop. All right, so final attempt. I think if I take this like, like that, then we've got like a longer sort of area for them to park. Like when they're queuing up for traffic coming out of there and this is actually how traffic management works in real life it's like a traffic modeling thing but it's basically like the queuing length it's basically how long cars can queue like say you got like traffic lights here or something they do actually measure like where cars like queue up to because if it goes too far and it affects like this main road then you have to like make your green light happen more often etc etc so yeah actually using real knowledge in this sadly i can't remember the technical terms but look coming out of the gun shop now ooh, it's worse <laughs> All right, one more time. Have I done that any need to? No, look, it's clogging up into the gun shop this time. Not long enough. Although that was the best one. <laughs> that was the best one. Yet. Okay, maybe I'm talking bollocks. I don't know. Uh, one other level that I think needs fixing uh, is this absolute mess. So the super light gray color, that's like a triple story. So we got dark gray, which is ground level. Lighter gray, which is like one level above. Super light gray is a level above that. So we got like a three tiered bridge there and it's 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 not nice. 319 to beat. What's the traffic situation? Oh, straight through up there. Straight through up there. And then almost nothing from those. Okay, so as these are like the thickest arrows, we're going to do straight throughs like that. Lovely. And then I think what I might do, I literally might just do like an oblong roundabout. So with this in the middle, we've essentially made a hamburger, but I think this is going to be more like a hot dog. So I think we want to come down there. We want to go perpendicular straight over those. And then around here, we just want to make the end of our bun over those and around there. Nice. So then we just connect those up. And then all we really need to do, I think, is just cut the corners. So we do that and do that and we do that. And that is network complete. That is so much neater. Let's see what the efficiency score is. It looks pretty good. It is getting a little bit clogged. 482. I think I can live with that. That's a hell of an improvement. And the final one I wanted to try and improve is this one, number five, because again, we've got the triple height bridges and we got a lot of space over this side. So I'm wondering, could I like not go over the water at all and have like really small bridges and way less concrete? Let's see. So everyone just wants to go to everyone equally. So if we start with the inside lane, we want to go over there, straight down here and into that one. All right, this bottom road is going to want to go up to there as well, but it's also going to want to go across there. I think I think that's probably fine. Because so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do like the short waffle bridge that I did on that super hard level. I'm sort of thinking if I do, if I just right click and do that, then that gives space for this one to connect underneath. I just need to get this one over. I think I need to do another one of those actually. Oh, or I can just do that. I've just made a longer bridge. That's not what I wanted to do, but it's what I've done. So I think this one will come over here. I'm going to come down and do a little bridge so that we can do that. Then under here needs to go through that gap as well. Oh, that looks quite tidy. And then yellow, we could either come along this edge, but that's quite a lot of concrete compared to just doing a little twirler. Because yeah, I think if we, let's say we come round there and then round there, that is network complete. That is very, very condensed. Let's simulate and see what the traffic's like. What was our score to be? Was it like three? Okay, well, that was terrible. Mainly because the traffic flow is 19. That's not good. All right, so what if we do it this way? So we take you under there and then we do bridge like that and then this one can come under those and up to there it's a similar thing it's a similar thing then we'll just do the simple round the outsiders so we'll say go over that way you go over that way network complete right come on this has got to be better it looks so much better 276 it's worse how is it so much worse <laughs> have i I've, I've got worse at engineering by playing this game i think that's what we're learning right now all right it's got to be it's got to be down to my drawing i need a steady hand i need a steady hand that's all i need easy does it easy does it please Please. 
Please be better. Please. Oh, it look, it's looking it's looking fast. It's looking fast. Three, six, two. Okay, it's, it's barely better. Anyway, yep, apparently I've got worse at this game as I've gone on. So, <laughs> on that note, I'll say peace, love, and very efficient bridges. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.